What is multicultural, spiritually belonging to the stars all about? Servus and welcome to today's episode of Multicultural, Spiritually Belonging to the Stars. In this first episode, I'd like to explain to you a little bit what this podcast is going to be about, what this whole project is about, because this is not only going to be a podcast later on, there will be other things coming up. Um, but first of all, uh, I wanted to explain to you what this is about. So um, as you read, it's multicultural, spiritually belonging to the stars, which means uh, I want to address multicultural people that were born to a mixed race family or a multicultural family and um, and or have had a biography that has brought them to different countries you know and I want to address this kind of uh, people because I believe um, that we are a tribe and I'm saying we now because of that because the reason why I want to address my tribe is um, because I believe I'm not the only one that has had that has that multicultural background so I am I was born to a family um, a very multicultural family. My mom is Chinese Ecuadorian, so she was raised Chinese in a in a little bit of a Chinese culture, but also very Ecuadorian. And I actually recently asked her like when she started to see the differences, and she said when she was raised she didn't see any difference, but um, when she didn't feel like not an Ecuadorian, but once my sister and I started to analyze it, we started to realize how many cultural differences there actually actually existed and um, so for her she feels more Ecuadorian of course um, but we all love Chinese food we've been raised with Chinese medicine um, Chinese food and having a grandmother that still speaks Chinese and that gives us white rabbits <laughs> um, so that's one thing but we've also been raised with Latino music we love Latin American music um, and except that, well, usually if you see Latin American families, they are very open and go, wow, and they go emotional and they hug each other and, you know, and, um, it's not that we didn't have that, but not in the form that a Latino family usually has it. <laughs> so that's, that's that side. My dad's German. And, um, so we've also been raised with a very structured German side and, um, that's one thing. The other thing is that I'm not only multicultural because of my birth, because of my DNA, but also because of my biography, because of my parents, we lived in Ecuador for my first seven years. Then we moved to Germany for five more years. Then we moved to Nicaragua for another five years for me. And then I went on to live in Costa Rica for another year to do the German high school degree before I moved back to Germany um, when I was 18. So... Um, I was influenced by all of those countries when I was raised. And that's the multicultural part that I want to I want to address here in this podcast because um, and that's the interesting part how different we all are because I've, I've even started talking with my sister and I think I'm gonna get her in in an interview on this podcast as well because I want to share with you how different we were raised um, and not how different we were raised by the same parents <laughs> and I uh, had, almost similar influences because the only thing is my sister had an additional Peru at the end of her bio before she ca she moved back to Germany and um, how that those things have um, affected us in different ways like um, in my case there were moments where I felt lonely even though I had friends um, I felt like I didn't belong I felt like I wouldn't fit in places um, whereas for my sister, it was a I th it was a little bit different because she felt more like she wasn't sure who she was, you know, like like as a personality, which also became one of my biggest struggles um, later on. But I'm gonna tell you more about it in another in another episode. But yeah, so those are you know like watching seeing those struggles. What do we have? What kind of struggles do we have? And um, I believe that the that the belonging part um, 
gets better once we know who we truly are. <laughs> and you're already hearing it. I feel that the part about knowing who we truly are is one of the biggest challenges um, of multicultural people because I've, I think, I'm not sure, please, if you have had different experiences, send me an email. Um, let me know if I can interview you because I'd love to interview more multicultural people to see what we have, because I feel that all of us have similar but also different challenges. And in the end, um, we have had similar experiences. So I, I want to bring that together and I want to bring that um, into one point. So that's one of the things I want to do because I was searching uh, for multicultural groups or stuff like that. And I actually haven't found many. So I feel that I want to do that. And this is why this is my project. And I want, I want us to talk about the struggles because I feel that because we were taught to fit in all over, like wherever we were brought to, is amazing because it gives us this huge advantage. Like we can, we can adjust to anything. But when it comes to our own happiness, our own true selves, it makes it a little bit harder because we had to forget about that throughout the way. So those, that's the part that I want to talk about with the multicultural part. And I want to set up a community for us to get better, to, you know, because uh, like I said, yeah, like I said, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about myself in a different um, episode. But yeah, to see all those struggles. And the second part, the spiritually belonging to the stars part, um, I believe that um, the truth of our spirituality is always whatever we make of it but in the end there is like a basic spirituality that takes in everything so no matter if you're part of a big religion or, or if you are part of an alternative religion in the end we all go back to the same source to the same you know to to the same energy whatever you want to call it and I believe that that's also one of the parts that brings us back together because I feel that that's where we can find our purpose, where we can define who we truly are, what our purpose is on this planet. I believe we're all star seeds that have come here to make something better, make something beautiful. And that's the reason why we chose the multicultural part. And I believe that the, the thing about I am, about finding out who we truly are, is probably one of humanity's biggest questions. And that's why... Um, I think it's a good thing that we can be here together find out more about it. Um, I hope I can share more about all the insights that I've had throughout the, the my my years on this planet, and so that we can you know so we can define ourselves in a new way and maybe with that start defining this world nicer and better. I'm not saying that it's not nice. I think it has pretty good places, but I think that it has um yeah an immense amount of potential you know to to make it even nicer and even peaceful more peaceful um and i'm not trying to i i know there's some pretty messed up things happening on this planet as well so i i'm just hoping that we can get together and yeah unite in being our better selves because i believe that once we become our better selves that's when we can actually find peace on this planet. So, yeah, with this, this is where I want to take this podcast. I want to talk to you about these things and hopefully inspire you. Um, so if you are multicultural, please, uh, I hope you, you like this podcast. And if you are um, multicultural and feel the calling and feel like you want to talk about your story, Please send me an email. I'd love to interview you to see what your challenges are, have been, or where you're at right now. And, um, yeah, and, uh, yeah, if you want to be interviewed or if you have any questions or whatever, let me know. And stay tuned because I, I have a couple of nice projects up for in the next couple of um, weeks to, set, to, to give to you with the podcast but um, for now I just wanted to say hi and present this podcast and hopefully uh, I have your interest and you can be part of this movement to unbox our minds and to create a space for us where we don't have to define ourselves by labels or cultures or boxes 
um, and where we can live a spirituality that's open and has no boundaries. So yeah, with that, looking forward to spend more time with you guys and sending you a big, big hug right now. And um, hope you have a great time. Talk to you soon.